It's been always a topic of discussion since I arrived in 2006. The years leading up to the pandemic, there was a lot more faculty interest, concern uh, in not having a March Man. There was a moment of, you know, I'd really been hearing a lot of that, said, okay, we really need to get serious and explore that, that idea. There were a few big challenges, That's what seemed to me like big challenges. To do the, because we didn't just want to have a marching band, we wanted to do it the right way. I knew that we needed a lot of funding for startup. Then we had John Martinson's gift. I have enjoyed performing arts, and so among my favorites are marching bands. And when I heard that Roland was considering uh, doing that, I uh, got keenly interested. So it went from, we should do this, to let's really engage with this, to almost overnight, we're doing this now. At that point, we were off to the races and basically spent all of last year, it seems like a year is a long time, but to prepare and start a marching band, it's a very short period of time. We were able to immediately secure the position for the director of bands, have a national search led to bringing Professor Cooney in. She brought the experience of having actually started another marching band from scratch. And so her interest in coming back home to Rowan to start the program, there was a lot of value in her experience of building from the ground up. Uh, student leadership focused, and that was really important to me as I see the marching band as, as an opportunity for our students to develop as student leaders, as future educators, music educators, as just leaders and arts patrons in the community. And she was obviously going to be an ally in that mission. The whole marching band thing, you know, being so involved in marching band, it's kind of this activity that has followed me around my whole life. Coming back to a place that has gave me the tools, I owe a lot to this building and the people who are in it and the institution itself. So I feel an immense responsibility to build a gift, to give it back to a place that actually gave me the tools to even build the gift to begin with. And that's really hey, special. You all should be so, so proud of yourselves. Absolutely. You guys sounded great on the field. The energy has been great all day. The name isn't an accident. The, you know, calling it the pride of the pros. We want this to be a point of pride for the entire campus. Watching it build the community and pride and, and in a way that wasn't there before. There's a lot of things that we're proud of and that build a strong community, but this piece was missing. So feeling that piece kind of go into place, that was special for me as well. It was really fun to share with him. You know, we've been sending him updates, but watching him interact with the students, see what a rehearsal is like, and just kind of see the smile on the face, I felt like he was pleased with it, and so that was that was really satisfying for us too. That was a thrilling, a thrilling evening. Uh, I really enjoy uh, the spirit and uh, enthusiasm of bands, and so to be part of it was a quite, quite exciting evening. When the band interacted and when he was cheering and he was, you know, he was so excited and into it, that was, it was just a nice moment to just kind of stand and watch and take that in. Well, I'm enthused to support uh, attracting high quality students to Rowan, and I know that they will have a, uh, an outstanding education and a lot of extra activities there. And the band is certainly a prime mover for that. Most collegiate bands are gonna be two thirds majors other than music. That is very rewarding in and of itself. All of these students work so hard and then they come to college and it's a shame to just go put that instrument in the case. Students who love music but who haven't been participating in it are looking for a way to get back and now we have the Pride of the Profs, perhaps the most inclusive, the most no audition, please come group that we have. So it's very powerful. It's very meaningful that a significant number of the marching band students are not studying music. 
And I see how important marching band is for high school musicians and for those teachers and families and the community. And it felt like, you know, they're all into it at that age and then they come to Rowan. And though we have a lot of music offerings, we were missing, <laughs> we were missing this really critical thing that I knew a lot of them would love. So please enjoy our 2023 production, Rowan Through the Years. The marching band was really amazing. Um, I really liked the surprise. I liked all um, the instruments and seeing like everybody just like have a good time. It was amazing. Honestly, I've never seen anything like it before. The marching band was like awesome. I was sitting in my chair and I was dancing, singing along, clapping. Just amazing. Like I have no other words. I would definitely join the marching band. I think it seems super fun. Everyone seems to be having a great time. I feel like I would want to continue on being in marching band throughout college now. I did band when I was um, in elementary school and middle school, so now I'm thinking about doing it again when I go to college. In its first year, this band has exceeded all expectations with its size, first of all, and with the enthusiasm. I mean, we knew it was the right time to start the band, but it's been just more enthusiastic and more energetic than any of us had anticipated. We want to build a, a band that's significant in size. We know it's going to grow, so it's just a question of, of, of how big and how quickly. This is Rowan. We dream, we dream big. 